Hi guys, had a comment from Andre Babby saying, what about the robot that climbs walls? I was a little bit confused because I'd just posted a video on a little toy robot that climbs up windows. Um, but I've had a look around on YouTube and I've seen some videos of people who've got um, things like hovercrafts working in reverse that actually climb up walls. So I thought, well I've just done this hovercraft, what happens if I reverse the wires? Well, the first thing that happened when I reversed the wires was the poor old electric motor that I'd put in there died, because it was really only a one and a half volt motor and I'd been running it with nine volts and it'd been overheating, well it finally gave up the ghost. So I swapped the motor for one that takes the nine volts a bit better it's probably still overpowered. So now it's blowing the air up and it's sticking to the desk. But it's not quite enough power to hold it onto the wall. So I'm going to see if it helps if I add a skirt. I've cut my plastic bag out so I've got a nice big circle. I'll now try and stick that to it. So I'll use some of this. Um, glue stick, give it a liberal coating. Right, we haven't got enough power to actually hold it in place. But if I balance it on that nail, you can see it is actually sticking to the wall. So we've got some vacuum, but not enough. Just going to fall down now. But you see, it's still gripping the wall though, but not enough. I've just swapped the wires back on this one so it works as a hovercraft again. I'll leave that one as a hovercraft and I'll make a new one for a, a wall sucker or a wall crawler. Another styrofoam plate. This time we've got the fan unit out of a USB vacuum cleaner and I've got four AAA batteries there giving us, what's that, one and a half, three, about six volts. And obviously it's a USB thing, it'd be a 5 volt motor. But I think we've got some success here. I think the logical thing would be to make this a series or at least a two-part video and stop there for now because that's the initial experimentation. We have at least proved that we can get something that will stick itself to the wall. What we haven't done is produced any form of movement. So I'll do a quick summary of this. It's a styrofoam plate. And this part here is one of those USB vacuum cleaners, or at least it's half of it. Just stuck through the plate so it sucks the air out from here, blows it out of those vents there. USB means it's normally 5 volt power. What I've got here is a little battery box that holds four AAA batteries, so that gives us about 6 volts, so it's slightly overpowering it, but not much. Not as bad as trying to put a 9 volt motor on it anyway. And that grips to the wall, well, very well. I can't really move it when it's stuck there. So we'll have to think of something else to allow us to have some sort of movement. So we'll call that part 1, 
and we'll have another go another day to see if we can get it to move.